creditors and banks are a stakeholder of business that's not really thought of a lot, um, particularly with some of the exam questions we get. It doesn't really come up too much, but they are a stakeholder, just like any of these other stakeholders. Let's first of all figure out who they are. Well, bank's pretty obvious. You've probably heard of a bank, but what is a creditor? Well, these are businesses that provide the business with credit to conduct its operations. So what is a creditor? Now, if you're doing accounting, this is called an accounts payable. That's the same thing, though. They provide the business with goods and services on credit. That is slightly different to a bank. A bank is a business which lends another business money to be repaid later. Let's look at a difference. Let's say we are running Rebel Sport, that's a business, and we sell shoes to customers. Well, we might want to borrow some money to expand our business. Okay, so maybe we want to buy uh, another or open another Rebel store, something like that. We might go to ANZ and borrow $2 million with three years to pay. That is a loan from a bank. However, in the real world, the business world, businesses often kind of borrow from each other, but not money. In this case, we might go to Nike and say, look, I'd like to buy 40,000 pairs of these shoes, but I haven't got the money today. Can you sell them to me? And I will pay you back later once I've had a chance to get more money. And that's a perfectly normal thing in business. And we call that person that sells to our business on credit, a good or a service, that's called a creditor. So in this case, that could be Nike. So what do these creditors and banks, what are the direct or vested interests in the business? They are to ensure that the business is profitable and can pay its bills, because when you think about it, the business is the customer of a creditor or bank. They also want to be sure but to be uh, sure that the business can repay its debts plus any interest if it's a loan. And lastly, they want to be certain that the business is open and honest in its financial dealings. It doesn't sell a bank. Once when they ask the business to for a loan and they say, you know, how much, how many, how much assets do you have or so on? They want the bank to be open and honest and not lie. However, there are some socially, so corporate social responsibility issues to consider as well. And they are that the business should treat its creditors or suppliers in an ethical way that balances profits with doing the right thing. And also the business goes the other way, should not borrow money from other businesses that are not ethical. So if you find out a bank has been engaging in bad behavior, which has happened quite a bit in Australia in the last few years, and you are a socially responsible business, you might say, I don't want to borrow from that bank. I will find a bank who does engage in ethical and socially responsible, socially responsible operations.